G'day, welcome to Down in the Woodworks. Today's video is about my entry in the Summer Builds 21 Challenge, which I happen to be hosting. The connection to summer for me with this build is that recently I made some Adirondack chairs, some very comfortable, relaxing Adirondack chairs, which are perfect for enjoying a beautiful summer's day. Just one thing they needed to make them even more comfortable and relaxing, and that was a footstool. So that's what this video is all about. Hang around till the end of the video where I'll talk about the challenge a little bit more and the next challenge. For this project, I used Design Pine again. It's a treated pine board that's suitable for outdoors. It's dressed all round and pre-primed so it saves me a lot of milling and prep time. I started out by marking the side rails for the two footstools using this template I have. I cut the individual pieces out of this one board using a homemade saw guide and then roughly cut out the shapes with the bandsaw. Then I attach the template to the pieces using screws, making sure to attach it to the inside face of the side pieces so the screw holes would be hidden when the footstools were assembled. With a flush trim bit in the router table, I cut or trimmed the pieces to their final shape and size. The next pieces to cut were the longer legs of the stool. I cut them the final length first and then had to cut an angle on the top of the legs according to this tapering guide. I don't know what that angle is and it didn't matter because I just transferred the angle to my table saw using a sliding bevel. Once that was done, I then cut the taper on each of the legs. I then cut all the rest of the pieces off camera because that's not very exciting. All the pieces got a small roundover on all the cut edges to match the factory roundover. These pieces are the front and rear rails that get glued and screwed to the legs and eventually join the two sides together. So I drilled and countersunk some screw holes. and remove the primer from the ends of the rails and also from one of the edges of the legs where the glue joint will be made.
The front and back leg assemblies could then be glued and screwed to the side rails to complete the footstool frame. Again, I removed the primer from the glue surfaces so that I was gluing wood to wood. I used the nail gun first to stop the pieces from sliding around and then finished off the joint with screws. Next was a tedious job of drilling and countersinking clearance holes in each end of the 26 slats needed for the two stools. The screws for the slats are only 9mm in from each end, so clearance holes were essential to stop any splitting. I then sanded down the sharp edges on the ends of each slat. Only the first slat on the stools is glued and nailed in place to help keep them square. The rest of the slats are held in place with screws only. This is because they're being fixed to a slightly curved surface and also allows for them to be easily replaced if necessary. On one of the stools though, I had a major mishap with the nails skewing out of the front of the rail, even though I had the gun positioned to avoid it. But because these have a painted finish, rather than trying to pull the nails out, I just cut them off below the surface and filled the holes. Easy fix. After sanding the two frames, I sprayed on a couple of coats of paint because at this stage the frames will be much easier to spray without the slats on. I'll lay down the final coats when they're fully assembled. To work out the spacing of the slats, I stacked them onto the stools and measured the remaining gap and divided that by 12, which is one less than the total number of slats. I didn't have a 4.25mm spacer, so I used a combination of 4mm and 4.5mm spacers alternating between the two. To install the slats, I clamped these side pieces in place to keep everything aligned. I used some plastic spacers for the 4.5mm gap and a couple of 4mm drill bits for the others. Last job to do on these stools was to apply the final coats of paint and they were done.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And as I said in the beginning, the footstools are a great addition to the Adirondack chairs. I'm really looking forward to seeing all the other videos that people put up for this challenge. I'll set up a playlist on my channel and I'll link all of those videos in there so you can go and see them all. Obviously, I'll be linking all the ones that appear in my feed and I'll also do a search for the hashtag SummerBuilds21. But if I do miss your video, please let me know and I'll include it. As for the next challenge, if we continue with this theme of seasonal challenges, then it would be an autumn or fall challenge. And it was never my intention that I was going to run these all the time. What I want to do is put it out there to the community and ask one of you guys to put your hand up and call and host the next challenge. Well, that's it for this one. Make sure you check out all the other videos. I'll have a playlist on my channel. But until the next one, you guys all have a great day.